Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert percents to fractions. First, we'll go through some example problems together, and then I'll give you some practice problems that you can try on your own. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 23%. Now remember, percent means per 100. So we can think of this as for each 100 or out of 100. So all we need to do in order to go from a percent to a fraction is to take away the percent symbol and rewrite whatever we have with a denominator of 100. So put it over 100. Once we have the fraction, we can simplify if possible. So for 23%, we write this as 23 over 100, 23 hundredths. And that's it, that's our fraction. Now this fraction cannot be simplified. The only common factor between 23 and 100 is one, so we are done. Again, 23% equals 23 over 100 as a fraction, 23 hundredths. Let's move on to number two, where we have 10%. So we need to drop that percent symbol and put this over 100. So 10 over 100, 10 hundredths. And that's 10% as a fraction, but we can simplify here. We have a greatest common factor of 10 that we can divide the numerator and denominator by in order to simplify. So we need to divide the numerator by 10 and the denominator by 10. 10 divided by 10 gives us one, and then 100 divided by 10 gives us 10. So we get one over 10, one tenth. The only common factor between one and 10 is one, so this is in simplest form. We are done here. 10% equals 10 over 100, 10 hundredths, but we were able to simplify that to one over 10, one tenth. Let's move on to number three, where we have 94%. So let's write this as a fraction here. We have 94 over 100, 94 hundredths. And this is correct, but we can simplify here. We have a greatest common factor of two that we can divide the numerator and denominator by in order to simplify. 94 divided by two, that's 47. And then 100 divided by two is 50. So we get 47 over 50, 47 fiftieths. The only common factor between 47 and 50 is one, so we are done. Lastly, let's move on to number four where we have 65%. So we write this as a fraction as 65 over 100, 65 hundredths. And that is correct, but we can simplify again here. We have a greatest common factor of five that we can divide 65 by our numerator and 100 by our denominator. 65 divided by five gives us 13 and 100 divided by five gives us 20. The only common factor between 13 and 20 is one. So we are in simplest form, 13 over 20, 13 twentieths. So those were our example problems. Let's move on to some practice problems that you can try on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. So here are your practice problems. I'll give you four minutes and then we will go over the answers. Feel free to pause if you need more time or jump ahead to the answers whenever you are ready. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that was four minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, our fraction is 70 over 100, 70 hundredths, which can be simplified to 7 over 10, 7 tenths. For number two, our fraction is 39 over 100, 39 hundredths, which is in simplest form. Moving on to number three, we have 86 over 100, 86 hundredths, which can be simplified to 43 over 50, 43 fiftieths. And then lastly, number four, our fraction here is 45 over 100, 45 hundredths, which can be simplified to nine over 20, nine twentieths. So there you have it. There's how to convert percents to fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.